In this uh, exercise, we are. This is a deep plier exercise, and we are going to look at the air quality data set, which is an inbuilt data set. And the job we're going to do is for each month calculate the proportion of time that the ozone value exceeds 25%. What we could do there is actually just have a quick look at the data set there. Essentially, what we want to there's a couple of variables here. And this is just jamming up for a second, but essentially what we should we're going to do is we're going to look at the ozone uh, variable, and we're going to use the grouping structure by month when I get it to work. Uh, something that's also quite important, actually, in this uh, uh, there we go is logical uh, summary statistics for logical variables. Uh, I made a little presentation about it elsewhere. I'm going to sort of reference that again. Now, let's have a look at the air quality data set. It's one of the inbuilt data sets, like, uh, how should I put it? It's like Iris and empty cars. What is useful about it, actually, is interesting about it, is that it has a lot of NA values, missing values. It also has a month variable here, and there are, it goes from month five to nine, so there's five months. And actually, let's just have a look at the tail. There we go. Uh, you can have to look at the bottom there as well. Air quality. So yeah, missing values in the NA. This the NA here is good. The NA is going to be tricky. So uh, let's actually just concentrate on that. So um, uh, what is it? Uh, so uh, what we're interested in now is a logical variable. So first off, air quality. Uh, greater than, oh, sorry, dollar sign ozone greater than uh, 25. It's, it's actually 25 is what I'm the uh, exercise about. I keep saying 30. So uh, the how many times does the uh, the ozone layer? Oh, the ozone value, the measurement exceeds 25. So we have, this is the logical vector here, true, true, false, true, true, and all that. But here we have NAs, okay? So that's going to cause a problem. Why does that cause a problem? If we want to get a proportion, let's do that again. If we want to get a proportion of how many uh, exceed 25 or proportion exceeds 25 that NA is going to cause problems if there's an NA it causes problems what you have to do there is do NA.RM that's uh, remove the NAs equals true so it's actually 56 percent of the time that the um, air quality or uh, the air quality ozone the ozone value in the air quality data set exceeds 25 Okay, so 56% of the time. Now we want to break that down by month. Okay, so we're going to use dplyr now. So library dplyr. Okay. Now, uh, what would be handy here, something I'm just going to sort of skip by this time, is this thing called the piping operator, or the pipe operator from the Magritte package. I'm not going to use it, but actually, if you're going to start to do this sort of thing, it's actually worth getting the hang of this as well. I'm just sort of splitting up uh, exercise by exercise, so I'm going to do Magritte separately in other exercises and then later on join them all together. But if you're familiar with it, or have you heard of it, and you're wondering why I'm not using it, it's, I actually will use it uh, uh, later down the line. It's the Magritte package, well worth knowing. But anyway, for the time being, air quality 2, I'm just going to sort of split up air quality by month. So the variable or the command there is group by and that imposes a sort of grouping structure and we're grouping by month. Okay, error quality two, AQ two. Now um what we're gonna do this is another um deep player command, summarize, and we're gonna summarize air AQ two and what we're gonna be interested in is the mean of ozone. We don't have to put in air quality dollars on ozone greater than 25 okay and we can give that uh, output a new name we'll just call it over 25 brilliant what has gone wrong there I forgot to put in na dot rm equals true uh, let's clear the screen and do that again there we go perfect now we're getting some odd values here okay or, well, no, actually, it doesn't sort of make sense overall, if you consider that it was 56% in general, or something like that. 
Uh, but what we might be interested in is seeing how many observations uh, did we get in each month. So what I'm going to do is actually just, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to I can actually include it as another column after. But for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to do a number of observations uh, on its own, and you can sort of combine them as one. So summarize uh, AQ2. Uh, the number of observations that are valid, and that is the count, no, sorry, the sum of not NAs, so exclamation mark not NA of ozone. Uh, I might be missing a bracket there. Yeah, one more bracket. There we go. So there's 26 valid observations in um, uh, month five, but there's only uh, nine from month six, and so on. Okay. Uh, the thing is, actually, you can actually combine both of these together into one. Uh, just for the sake of uh, space on the screen, I'm not. I'm just going to sort of not do it. Well, I'll try to do it here. I'm just going to sort of tuck that in at the end. And what's going on? Uh, it's, it's just I can't see here, so I'll just might have one bracket too many. There we go. Perfect. Nice little summary output. Uh, I might have sort of uh, fluffed a couple of the numbers. You can check them yourself. But overall, I think you like you might be able, should be able to get an output that looks like that. Okay, great.